Hey, it's Logan with uh, Black Peak Equipment here. Just uh, giving you a rundown of this 35G John Deere uh, excavator. Okay, to first start out with uh, making this video for all of my guys down here in St. George. Um, just to kind of give a quick rundown on how to load it, um, how to stow it, tow it, everything like that. Different chains and binders. So you got one chain and binder on the dozer blade. Got a chain and binder um, under undercarriage. You see how this ring right here, you just loop it through. And then last chain and binder, uh, smaller chain, but this is for your bucket, everything like that. Um, so I stow it just like this. So because I got a dually, I put more weight up forward um i usually you can bring it back to you see kind of where the wear marks are um but anyways i just want to give a quick rundown so first of all there's the ramps so you drop the ramps down so when you're loading it just undo the ramps drop them down and make sure that your truck is parked there's wheel chocks underneath the tires keep the truck from uh, rolling and the trailer from rolling when you load um, I just drive it up. Um, when you drive it up, I usually keep this uh, bucket arm up high enough so that way I don't worry about um, getting too far in and dropping it down and then hitting the trailer deck. Um, so on this trailer, so you got a big, big toolbox. This is where you store chains and binders. You see the wheel chocks. I'll show you the wheel chocks real quick. So when you're loading and offloading, we just ask that everybody uses these. See, here you go. Right. Okay, and then you got your spare. Anyways, this is for, for all your chains, binders, everything like that. Um, this does take a two and five sixteenths ball. So it is coupled for that. Um, so make sure you uh, get the right ball with the right, right weight rating. Okay, I'm going to just show you kind of a rundown of the excavator here. Up, check all your hydraulic hoses and check your coupler right here. This is your quick coupler for um, for all of your bucket attachments, augers, drills, everything like that check that kind of do an inspection of the body um, this is the fuel door so you just open that up see this is the fuel bay see that and this is where you fill up there's a little sight and stuff okay then I'm undo it you just push that lever in okay and we open up the panels so this is where we got battery Condenser, radiator, air to air, fun stuff there. This is your engine bay, as you can see. So air cleaner, fuel filter, oil filter, all that. So usually you can just kind of do a quick run around on that. top and side okay so you just obviously you just open the door okay so if you open it all the way it locks see that pushing on it pulling on it nothing so to unlock it there's this lever right here see how the door just came open okay perfect okay so this is the inside this is the cab of the excavator um so a bunch of buttons and switches and stuff like that so let me walk you through it real quick okay so the first setup um this is your hvac this is for your heat and air um fan speed all that okay this switch for your track speed rabbit mode is fast turtle mode is slow keep it in turtle um unless you're tracking a distance 
Uh, windshield wiper, if you hold it down, it does the sprayer for the glass. Um, and then obviously like your lights. This is your idle speed. So this will increase the RPM and then the uh, flow for the hydraulics. Bring it down, okay. Um, this is for your dozer blade up and down. Uh, this is your screen setup here, everything like that. Um, this function shuts the, the beeping noise off, the control noise for that. Um, this toggle right here is for your thumb. Back and forth is for your thumb. Obviously, that's for your horn. Down to your feet now. This pedal right here pivots this boom. So this boom will go one way or the other way. Um, so that way you don't have to sit and rotate. And then the, these two obviously are your forward and backward tracking mode. You can do it with your feet. Um, you can also stow it to do your hands. Okay. Um, obviously the window opens, side windows open. Okay, so the initial startup, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the key to the on position. Okay, so if you look here, shut this off. So if you look here, you can see the hour meter, power on, A and I, which is auto idle. Um, up here, you got your setup for like oil pressure, battery, um, auto shutdown, fuel, and glow plug. Um, in the mornings, this glow plug will stay on for a little bit. That means it's just warming up the glow plugs to cold start the diesel um, so cycle that once or twice don't have to worry about touching any of these buttons I um, their settings are already there everything's good there okay and then now bringing it over here's your hydraulic stick so this activates the machine to do what it, you want it to do so when you pull this up the machine machine will stay running but the hydraulic functions will go down so when we do the startup you want to make sure that this is left up and you want to make sure that your keys over your glow plugs are done okay and we'll let it start okay now we're started and we're running okay so you, you see when i turn this up Yeah, we just increased the idle on there. Okay, do you notice how this, this is for your coolant, this is for your fuel. The coolant, you see how it's blinking, that just means um, that you need to let it warm up just a little bit. It's just telling you that where the temperature is. It is a cold over here, so it is a little chilly right now. But yeah, once you uh, release this hydraulic function, I'll show you with the thumb. So you take the lever, back and forth then as soon as you kick this hydraulic lever out you try everything you can get it okay okay so now you see the functionality if you have this down and you try to start it it will not start so keep that in mind make sure this is up all the way make sure you're you're uh, sitting in the cab how you want everything like that um, a lot of people keep it like this and they shut the machine off. Well, what happens is when you start the machine, that it'll it'll start at full throttle. So what we tell our customers is, is hey, go ahead, turn it down. When you're done with it, like let it, let it idle for a second or two before you just shut it off. That way it gives the machine a chance to kind of cool down. Everything like that. Um, okay, and then obviously once you get out of the cab... Go ahead and, and shut your your door. Like that. Okay. So that's our 35G um, on our flatbed trailer. Like I said, um, I just wanted to make this video for people who are trying to figure out how to hook this machine up, how to tie it down. Um, again, just chain and binder front here chain and binder over here and chain and binder over here 
we're gonna make a video I'm making another video on how to uh, put the chain and binder on so go ahead um, watch that video if you have any questions about it if you have any questions Feel free to give us a call, 435-225-2316. Email us at office at blackpeakrentals.com. Um, we will be sure to answer all questions that is required. Um, and uh, we hope you enjoy the video. Thanks.